Hey Charlie, haven't seen you for a while. How you doing? Well, that busy, huh? Hey, did you know that the PDG process is starting up again soon? You know, performance dialogue and goal setting, where you reflect on the past year's work and discuss your strengths and career goals with your supervisor. <laughs> well, from that face, I guess you're not looking forward to it. Well, let's be honest. You know, most people don't count down the days until PDG season. And you have a few people on your team that you're completing PDGs for as well, right? Now, I know it takes time, but feedback is so important to perform at the top of your game. I mean, even when people are really good at their jobs and they've done them for a while, they still need feedback to stay engaged and to keep performing at a high level. You know, professional athletes still need coaches, don't they? Not so convinced, huh? Well, think back to something that you learned or got better at in the past. You might want to try raising your elbow. Now, did you learn to do that on your own? Ah, so you had someone that gave you a few pointers. A little feedback, maybe. You see, feedback is helpful. It gives us clarity and affirmation. And it tells us if we're a little off track. So it makes sense that we'd want to have it be a key part of the workplace too, right? So let's talk about feedback and goal setting for a minute. Did you know that research shows that people who write their goals down achieve approximately 50% more of their goals than those who don't? And those who talk about them with someone else are even more likely to accomplish them. Now those are some pretty good odds. Taking time to be clear about goals and having frequent check-ins about goals is worth our time, right? Well, how about this? Would you agree that you're more likely to extend your reach toward bigger goals if you know that your hard work will be recognized? Uh-huh, thought so. Remember the We Speak survey? Overall, Western's results were really good. And it was also clear that employees wanted more recognition and appreciation than what they were getting. And the best kind of recognition isn't lavish, expensive, or over the top. It's personal. And it's positive feedback. So why are we talking about feedback and recognition now? You see, we've said in our strategic plan that as a university, we want to achieve excellence on the world stage. And to do that, we need to inspire and develop everyone who works here. You know, not talking to each other about performance and how to get better isn't going to help us achieve excellence. The world's best organizations focus on their people. Okay, now you're probably thinking that this is all great, but who has the time to do this? Well, HR and the PMA executive have worked together to make the form better. It's a little bit shorter, it's much easier to use, and there are fewer, more focused questions. As for the conversation, well, that's the most important part, and we really need to find the time to do this. So be creative and schedule it in. Now, some like to have a few short meetings. Some leaders and employees just go for a walk together. I mean, do what works for both of you. And as the time goes on, it's best to have more frequent, informal feedback conversations throughout the year. So the PDG is not such a big deal and regular feedback becomes just a part of how we do things. So there we have it. A little investment up front in the form of clear, frequent feedback goes a long way to have us play at the top of our game.